I am a strong fan of the management contract because I, I, I believe uh, a hotel investment uh, is an investment in an activity more than in a property. Uh, and I believe in order to be able to extract value from a, uh, from a hotel, you need to be linked to the activity in some ways, uh, either in the form of the turnover lease or in the form of the management contract. Even if it is true that uh, if we consider our market, the experience in management contract is still uh, quite limited uh, because uh, uh, in the past, uh, real estate investors were uh, considering to buy hotels on the, or only under real estate leases. Also because of some uh, legal constraints we still have, uh, especially for property funds where the management contract system is still quite difficult to, uh, to, to have. Um, Milan and Rome are very different markets. Uh, Milan is still uh, heavily driven by business, so there is uh, a lot of uh, uh, cyclic cyclicality during the year, uh, meaning leisure is still quite low. So you still have some uh, dead months, like, for example, you know, summer period. Uh, so you need to take into account this when you approach an investment in Milan. Uh, Milan is, I mean, I, I think Milan at the moment is really uh, one of the most liquid markets we can have in Europe, if relatively speaking, meaning considering the size of the country, the size of the city, and the return you can get compared to, uh, let's say, average uh, bond yields. Uh, so uh, the opportunities are there because uh, Milan is in the middle of uh, uh, a lot of redevelopment also in the city center. So a lot of space is available and therefore, uh, you know, uh, for high street retail and hotels, uh, you, you, can, you can find some interesting opportunities, not only for hotels, but also for uh, uh, branded resi uh, uh, assets, which is an asset class uh, not yet really available uh, in, in, in our country. Rome is a totally different market. If you look at uh, uh, the current situation in terms of supply, there is an, an potentially an enormous amount of properties available in the city center. Uh, a lot of properties uh, are vacant, uh, are perfect for, for hotels. Uh, many of them need change of use. So it is also very much linked to the risk of this uh, uh, change. Uh, we are working on it uh, in, in, in a property in the city center in Rome, and you know it takes some time. Uh, there are a lot of constraints linked also to the uh, Minister of Cultural uh, in Italy, uh, and so. But again, probably short term Milan and long term Rome. Meaning long term is not 24 years. <laughs> <laughs> long term is three to five years. Me. Good. Um, no, I, I fully agree with, with, with Ivano. Yes, I think two words are Milan is four star business that works very well, and in Rome is more luxury. Despite also in Milan in the recent uh, years, lots of new five stars came uh, to the market, but I'm not sure that will perform. Uh, these are more brand uh, or than, than business. 